You're watching CNA Heroes. Here's Lisa Sweet. Welcome to CNA Heroes. I'm Lisa Sweet, co-founder of the National Association of Healthcare Assistants. Since I've been filming these CNA Heroes segments, I've been heard here around the office complaining about how difficult it is to find positive news about CNAs. Today we're in a different world. I find articles while reading the regular news about great CNAs helping to battle COVID-19 at their places of employment, nursing homes, home health, assisted living, and hospice. CNAs across this country are putting it all on the line for wages that really don't even come close to reflecting their value, to care for the most vulnerable in our society, the frail and elderly. This week, I must share a story that touched my heart. Today, we honor not one, but two heroes, brothers, Reagan and Norwood Henry. The Henry brothers were part of a large, loving, tightly bound family of six brothers, as well as many aunts, uncles, cousins, nieces, and nephews, many of whom work in Asheville, North Carolina's healthcare sector. Reagan and Norwood, or Woody, as he prefers to be called, Henry were born and raised in Micronesia, and they both worked at Deerfield Episcopal Retirement Community as CNAs. Reagan worked at Deerfield for 13 years, earning a reputation as a gentle, kind, knowledgeable, and hardworking caregiver, a gem of a human being, and a truly exceptional CNA, strong, confident, and capable, and yet tremendously tender and loving in his approach to resident care. This was a quote from the Deerfield CEO and President Bob Wernett. Woody said he and Reagan were together every day of their lives except for just a few short years when Reagan graduated from high school. He enjoyed being a CNA. He enjoyed helping people. He was a great caregiver, not just at his work, but to his daughter, family, and friends, Woody says about his brother, adding that caregiving was something that came naturally to Reagan. Woody continues to say back home, we don't have professionals. We take care of each other. Woody said that in mid-May, he found out that he might have been in contact with someone who tested positive for COVID-19. He immediately got tested and learned that he was positive that same day and went into quarantine. Reagan took the test the same day, but in a different city, Asheville, North Carolina, and his results took two days to come back. Reagan, however, wasn't feeling well, was coughing, had a fever, classic signs of coronavirus. By the time Reagan's test came back positive, both brothers had severe symptoms and went to the hospital and both were placed in the intensive care unit. Woody said he doesn't know how they contracted the virus. While they were patients at Mission Hospital's ICU in May and June, while both were fighting the coronavirus, the brothers constantly texted each other from their respective rooms. But Woody, 36, took a turn for the worse and went into a coma. He said family members told him later that his older brother Reagan, 39 years old, while still a patient in the ICU himself, came to his bedside and held his hand. Woody says he was cheering me on and trying to get me to wake up. Once Woody rallied and woke up, he learned that Reagan was in a coma. 
Woody was discharged from the hospital, but on June 23rd, the day the hospital slightly eased its visitor restrictions to allow just one visitor for a family member and only at the end of life, Woody was able to return the favor to his big brother. Woody held his big brother's hand while he watched him die. Reagan Henry, who was not only the best father, the best brother, a son, boyfriend, cousin, caregiver, and beloved member of the extended Micronesian community died on June 23rd at Mission Hospital. His funeral was June 27th in Asheville, North Carolina. Reagan Henry was adored at the Deerfield community where he was a CNA. He was beloved by residents, their families, and his co-workers. He was often a prankster, leaping from dark corners to give his co-workers a jolt. He will be sadly missed by all. Marie Colton Woodard was shocked and saddened to hear of Reagan's death and had nothing but praise for both Henry brothers who cared for her parents, Henry Colton, an Asheville City Councilman, and Marie Colton, a longtime North Carolina State Representative, until they died in 2011 and 2018, respectively. Woodard remembered how Reagan would make sure her mother's hair was in place whenever he lifted her into the wheelchair, and then he would smooth it again when her head was back against the pillow. They were all gentle with her, she says, and affectionate in a completely professional way. The way you are with an older person and want to make sure they're 100% comfortable, she states. Reagan Henry is survived by a mother, five brothers, a daughter, his girlfriend, lots of aunts, uncles, cousins, and friends. He will be greatly missed. So today we honor two CNA heroes, brothers. We celebrate Woody Henry for his compassion and dedication as a CNA and a loyal brother. We honor Reagan Henry for his years of caring and loving service to the residents he served, his life cut way too short. Everyone, please join me in honoring CNA heroes, Reagan Henry and Woody Henry.